Alhamdulillah. Hi friends, welcome to Kafka tutorial for beginners. This is gonna be a full blown out mini course teaching you everything you need to know to edit your first ever video on CupCut. Hopefully you guys are excited. Let's just dive right into this video. All right, first and foremost, for those of you who are new to my channel, hi, welcome, my name is Fazul. I'm a professional video editor. I've been working as a professional video editor for the last five years, but I've been on YouTube creating cool videos just like this one for the last seven years. Just wanted to put that out there. But now let's just hop onto my computer and get the video rolling. All right, so if you are on a desktop app, that will be the ideal. However, if you have the mobile app, you can still follow along and learn a lot of hidden features that CapCut offers, but desktop app is the the one that is closest to the professional video editor I would say you can easily download the CapCut app from the App Store if you're on Mac or you can also download it from CapCut.com if you're on Windows super easy I'll leave the link in the description so when you open it up this is how it looks like make sure you CapCut is up to date because CapCut is always releasing some cool features with each update so it's good to enable auto update that way you have the latest version all the time. In order to create a new project, you're gonna click on this big icon over here and it will greet you with this page where you have everything just beautifully arranged in my opinion. On the left side over here, you have where all the tools that are necessary over here and then you can just drag and drop or even import from here all of your necessary assets. What I like to do is I like to drag and drop instead of clicking on import, I can just easily import just like this by dragging and dropping and it's a good habit to start from the beginning to create new folder and stay organized for example i like to create a specific folder for b-roll or drone shots or even for audio files you can create folder by clicking right clicking and then clicking on new folder and you can right click and rename it to make it audio and also let's make a drone shot you guys get the idea depending on what kind of uh, clips you have uh, any sound effects you have you can create different folders and the ones you have different folders you can easily drag and drop into a different folders in your media section over here if you go to the ai generated you can easily create your ai generated images from here you can just give it a command over here prompt and click on generate it's completely free of charge you can generate ai based images for you to use quickly and then in the spaces you will have access to the cloud space to collaborate with other people in the library you have the CapCut's own uh, custom media that you guys can use for example it has this beep sounds maybe it might be useful uh, you have the green screens of subscribe like you guys can easily remove this with the masking tool which i'm going to show you guys later on in this video and then in the brand assets it has the CapCut's own brand assets if you move over to the audio here you'll find all of the music that CapCut offers, but be careful, not all of these are copyright free. So do your own uh, due diligence, or you can simply just check using the copyright uh, check tool that CapCut offers to check if your video uh, has any copyright issues. And then if you go to sound effects, this is where I spent a lot of my time exploring different sound effects to use in my transitions, in my videos, to integrate it, to improve the overall uh, you know performance of my videos you guys can scroll through it you can find a bunch of different cool sound effects but if you're not satisfied with the sound effects that the CapCut offers you can easily you know drag and drop your own custom sound effects as well which is super easy besides that if you just go to the extracted audio this is another cool um, feature that CapCut offers you can extract from any clip audio and then it's going to be saved here which you can later on reuse it reuse it all the time and then in the brand music uh, this is going to be again the cloud space for you to collaborate with other video editors or co-workers whatever the case might be and then if you go to the text section on the left on the third one from the left you have auto caption this is a really cool feature that CapCut offers for free of charge you can easily uh, enable auto subtitles and have those cool looking auto subtitles you can select from many different languages that CapCut offers and they're constantly adding new languages so far they have all of these languages starting from Arabic all the way to Turkish Vietnamese you guys get the idea you can also if you do want to invest into the pro version you can also translate any language automatically using this auto captions feature but however as i said you need to have the pro version you can for example translate it from arabic to english so on and so forth which is which i think is really a cool feature and a cool cool uh, you know asset to have in your arsenal as a video editor 
And then over here, you can add your custom text. You can just drag and drop and then play around with the fonts here. You have the different, uh, you know, tracking text to speech over here where you can literally make CapCut say anything you want. But if you just go ahead and go to AI generated using the AI generated, you can create different types of text and you can literally describe the text and the effect you want to generate and it can generate you some cool text effects just like this one, which you guys can use in your videos. If you go to the effects, these are all the pre made effects that CapCut offers. You can find really cool ones. But what I like to use is the text templates here. You can just open the drag down menu and you can just scroll through different sections of the text template. One I use the most is the social media one over here, the like button, subscribe button. You guys can find it. You can also search easily from the top like and subscribe. You can use uh, lower thirds over here. If I scroll down, I can find lower third as well. If you move over to st stickers, you can find a bunch of different stickers in the cup cut, which I like to use is like button over here. And then we have the subscribe button you guys can use from this, or you can also tell the AI to generate a sticker for you, custom made AI generated stickers, which is really cool. And then if you move over to the effects section in the video effects, we have some really, really cool effects. It is worth investing some time to just play around, play around with these different effects and just mess around it and then find the one that you like and make it star, just like how I've done it. I've added these in my favorites and you can easily access them anytime you want, which is really, really convenient. And then based on what kind of clip you have nine by 16 or you have the 16 by nine, if you want to make it for YouTube shorts, for example, you can make it 1080 by nine, 1920, just like so. And then click on enter. It's going to make change the aspect ratio. And then if I go back to the effect, I can now mess around with the different effects that I have to see how it reflects on my clip. You guys can see I've messed around with different types of effects. And and these effects are really, really cool. As I said, it is worth investing some time when you have a spare time just to scroll through these different effects and uh, find the ones that you like the most and save it for you to use in the future. So if you go to the transition over here, you have a bunch of different transitions. The one I like the most, again, I have uh, added to my favorites, but one I like the most is this one over here. And then we have the pull in effect, the zoom in effects, bunch of different ones. Again, you can invest some time when you have free time just to scroll through these different uh, effects to find the ones that you like the most so that you can use it over and over again in your videos. But if you move over to the filter section over here, we have a bunch of different filters, but be careful. These filters sometimes mess up your clip, especially if you use it at hundred percent intensity. So it's cool to just drag and then lower down the intensity. That way you get the, the best value from these filters, I believe, because if you use it with hundred intensity, it doesn't look the best. However, if you just lower down the intensity to make it more natural, I think you can use it really well. And if you go to the ad adjustment section here, you can find the custom adjustment. You can find your presets, or if you have LUTs, you can import your custom LUTs just like I have done over here. You can just click on import and then drag and drop your uh, cube files. You can easily save it here. So that way you have access to them easily just like so. I have a bunch of different uh, LUTs that I have already saved. But then if you go to the templates over here, you have a bunch of different templates from other creators. You can also upload your own, uh, you know, videos as templates so other people can use it and get inspiration from. You guys can, you know, scroll through these and find some inspiration to recreate for your videos as well. And then if you just move over here, we have over here different types of mouse. Basically you can do a, which is going to be select. If you click on B, this is going to be split. You can click on any where in your clip and it's going to split it as you guys can see, and you can easily switch between these different um, cursor modes, I guess I should say, for example, B, if you click on B, it's going to change it to the split. If you click on A, it's going to switch it to select again. And if you click on this bracket, it's going to switch it to select forward. I mean, leftward and rightward, you guys get the idea. And if you don't want to just click on here all the time, it is worth going over here on the top right corner to shortcut and customize these, some of these shortcuts. So that way you have easy access. You can just speed up your editing process. It is worth investing time to learn these already have shortcuts, or you can customize this to, you know, make it your own. However, I like to keep it as it is over here because I've already memorized it really well, which helps me to edit my videos quickly without wasting time. And over here we have the player section, we have the basics and other, you guys can familiarize yourself, but shortcuts, Trust me and believe me when I say this, this is going to save you a lot of time. If you master this shortcut technique, it's really, really good. And if you move over here, we have again, the split, the lead left, 
uh, delete, right? You can do that as you guys can see with the W or you can do it with the Q. Instead of you manually splitting this and then deleting the clip, you can easily just do so by clicking on Q right there or W if you wanna do it from the left, from the right, Q, W. So make sure you remember that, it's really, really useful. And then here you can reverse the clip. You can reverse any of the clips by clicking on this. It's gonna easily reverse the clip so that way it's playing backwards which is a really cool uh, effect to have sometimes in your videos, especially when you're doing some slow-mo cinematic shots. Um, this is really good. You can have a mirror effect, which, which basically gonna uh, rotate, basically like flip like so. It's gonna flip it, so it, it gives you that illusion of different angle, if that makes sense. And then you can rotate it, you can resize it, stuff like this, all the elementary stuff. But nonetheless, this is pretty much everything that I could cover. I hope this video was informative and helpful. I hope you guys learned something new. If you're new to my channel, as I said, subscribe down below for more interesting and more uh, helpful video editing tutorials just like this one. In this channel, I'll teach you how to learn video editing and monetize your skill set to earn money online. Hopefully, you guys are excited again. Check out my channel and check out this video right here. And I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out.